Hello guys, it's me again, Floplop. In this video, I show your artists how you're comfortable edit or add new art uh, assets. So like models or textures or graphics, whatever, you name it. So as you can see, the game is based on JMonkey engine. It's a Java engine in Java. It's pretty fast. I like it a lot. And it's really cool to develop with this engine. So you can see in the showcase here, uh, which games are already realized with JMonkey. It's a lot. Uh, maybe someday our game is shown here too. <laughs> so um, you need to download this. But first I want to show you something else. Um, according to the other video, we set up Eclipse with S4N, if you remember. And maybe some of you guys, if you open this, expand this, you see all this. So this is not what you want, all this here. So we click on here, on this small arrow and package presentation hierarchical so it looks better so you can extend it and go to AI or game um, it looks more or organized so but now back to topic we want to download the JMonkey so we just click on download and download it and install it it's pretty easy um, I already skipped that part for you I think everyone knows how to install the software so we started so I'll make a shortcut here. So we start the JMonkey engine SDK. Uh, choose a working place. Uh, I set this as project folder. I don't care. Uh, you can choose another one. And here it is. The good part of it, you can live edit assets you use in the game in this OpenGL window. It's really cool. Or you can um, export directly blend files or uh, Augur XML files into the game. So I close this for a moment and here you can see updates. We always should install all the new updates because um, it, um, yeah, the uh, community is really active. They always um, keep this up to date. So I skipped this part for you. They're all up. Uh, if you update, you should accept all the terms and update and you need to re uh, restart the application. Normally you should update twice, so the first update and then after restart there are even more updates. So I stop the video for a moment. <laughs> so now my SDK is up to date, you should do that too. And uh, now we can use the Eclipse project here and load it here, but only the assets, so all the graphics. For to do that we click on file, import pro uh, project, x download project assets. So we just want to have the assets, we don't want code here. So we use the pass, we um, have our S4N. For me, if you remember, it's e tutorial Maven project and Agent Keeper. And here you just have to type assets. That's all. So next and finish. And voila, we have the project here and all the assets. The cool thing is now you can click on maybe models or and goblin and click double click the goblin. Is the H3O, it's the JMonkey format, and you see the goblin here. But you have to turn on the light, of course. And there is the goblin. Hello, goblin. Um, you can check the animations here by playing some animations, like the dancing animation or walking animation. So you really cool uh, can uh, watch all the assets, how they would look, look like in the game. This is already JMonkey engine. So you can start um, manipulate them in this scene if you want. Uh, like here you can see the texture, uh, the material pass. You can, can double click here and edit the material pass, like change the, the textures for the fuse or specular or alpha map. Um, maybe I should make another tutorial about uh, the material settings in JMonkey. But yeah, you will find out yourself or I can look at the tutorial later. So maybe for this small tutorial, uh, we just make the goblin really light to show you uh, it directly in the game. So I make him diffuse, maybe totally white. You can see now he's lighter. We can make this small. I will make it maybe four over. So he's totally red. As you can see that. Um, and that's it for the moment. So I click closes. It's already saved. And 
it's already updated here. You have to just have to press F5 and start the game. Um, like you did before, and now the goblin should be really loud. You can see all this red shine. <coughs> As you can see, it's not working. Uh, I don't. I know why. So we close this again. Okay, yes, I want to quit. You have to click on Project Clean. Okay, clean the project. Takes a moment. Uh, then start the game. So now the goblin should <laughs> use the new settings from the material. Yes. It looks really ugly, but I think you understand the principle. So the possibilities are unlimited. You can edit all the assets, change materials, change texture, change models. Um, yeah. That's it for the moment. Maybe I show you how to change something else. Uh, what we have here? Mm, the orc? No. Yeah, here you can see all the tile sets, like the dirt. You can see all the tiles. Um, yeah, that is for this video. Just a small, short video. Um, in the next video I'll show you um, a whole workflow how you uh, make a new model inside the game. Okay, that's for the moment. Bye.